Hey guys, and welcome back to another Starless video. I lied when I said I wouldn't upload another video. I'm doing this because I'm, I'm awake still and I don't feel tired. Probably by the end of this, I'll feel tired when I go to bed. But anyway, I am doing the Viscount. This is a capital ship in the Mon Calamari tech tree of the Star Wars uh, universe. The Viscount used to be very, very good, but since the new updates have come out, it's not as good as it used to be uh, I think technically I think it really needs a bit of a nerf in the amount like either it's fighters and it's bombers because they're not very good at intercepting other things and it doesn't actually do a lot of damage uh, to other ships it does have a lot of health though and that is the only real upside they also nerfed its speed it's now quicker than what it was originally it has 10 speed and its maneuverability is god awful don't expect anything of that you do have quite big fighter pull health 2000 but are they really effective at taking out other ships no are they good at effective at, uh, at defending against carriers maybe a tier 4 carrier but a tier 5 carrier you're not going to really do well on you might survive because you have so much shield health and your that shield health is has a her, it can take a lot of damage because it has the in, regenerating shields on it so you might survive but then you're really weak and the shields do recharge but they take a little bit of time and they do have quite good tolerance you do have concussion missiles i guess taking out smaller ships is all right uh, it does have a quite a big grind if you look on the tech tree here it's located at the end here technically it's counted as the new republic but it doesn't have any new republic things on it 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 has rebel uh, stuff like how the home one or the dauntless or the mc90 or the mc80 or mc75 uh unlike the new republic ones like you have the new republic heavy cruiser up here the scythe and then you have the entire rest of the new republic all the way up here this is part of a different update and so they've just kind of kept it down here but they haven't they gave it a slight remodel uh do i recommend getting it it's a painful grind to go through all the, um, the home one then to the dawnless then the viscount it is a very harsh grind the ship itself is pretty fun sometimes um i find it funny that technically the bridge of this you'd think it'd be like at the front here somewhere in the center no the bridge is this that's the bridge the same on the home one um you think the bridge may be at the front uh, no, the bridge is actually there. Uh, when we talk about Star Destroyers having an exposed bridge there, we don't talk about how th how exposed the bridge on Mon Calamari ships are. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into the gameplay. Here we are. Here we are. Server is a little laggy, but you can't have a Star Destroyer server without a little bit of lag. When I say a little bit of lag, this is a lot of lag for a server this big. Let's just fire on the Erebus because that thing's not nice. This thing's nasty. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Uh, we got fired on by a mountain, but it shouldn't do too much damage. But he is tar that guy is targeting us, so I'm going to be. I'm going to YOLO it and just send all my fighters out because I am. Not surviving this. That's a mongrel. I call it a mongrel. It's not actually a mongrel. It's pronounced something else. Uh, I'm losing my shields desperately, very quickly. Don't think I'm going to be surviving much longer. Let's just move this debris out the way. Screw the debris, right? Uh, the fighters are doing some damage, but I think it was because we were shot by the Erebus. The Erebus didn't like us doing that but we are going to carry on keep calm and carry on and keep firing to this Erebus because cannot allow that thing to live it's just so laggy I don't really know what I'm doing the only problem is this thing has a hundred and fifty second wait time so as soon as I die after this I'm gonna be waiting for a very long time I would say a hundred and fifty seconds for this thing is quite unfair considering like, okay, the Titan is 180 seconds, this thing is only 30 seconds less, but in a scenario, the Titan and the Compeller, bear brawling. This is 
kind of like a battle carrier. I used to, in my in my tier list from a year ago. I ranked it. I'm pretty sure I ranked it in S tier, and at the time. It was very good because not a lot of ships could counter it quite easily and if you played it well you could do really well in it but since then since all the new updates have come out this thing has just kind of fallen behind it's more leaning into the b tier than it is a tier it's fallen in from grace quite a bit like i'm i'm less inclined to say grind for it like go for it because in all honesty it's not as good as it used to be and I hope at some point the developers realize what's ha how good how how mediocre this ship is and how much of a grind it is, and do something to it. Lower its respawn time, give it slightly less health, but give it more weapons to deal with things. Give it more bombers, like it just has lots of health. That's all it has going for it. Doesn't really have much else going for it. It can also be quite a good support ship in a and uh, with other carriers but in the end it's still not a very good ship and there are still much better ships for it but if you are grinding for it you may as well get it and that's what you really want to do but personally I'd go for something else if if it's if if it's your cup of tea go for it but I'm personally saying don't really grind for it it's not the greatest uh, Star Wars uh, capital ship out there they really need to nerf this in some way Okay, we are on high point. It'd be pretty good if I get another carry on my team and not a crimson. Is that a crimson side of strike? Yeah. Okay, why? We have a low tier player. That's cool. Nothing could go wrong with that. I bet this is going to be a fun game with a discount. Like, the warping in for the fighters looks cool, but if they come. If you're facing your rear to the enemy, and while they're warping in, the enemy can actually... Sh the enemy's point defense will actually damage them as they fly through through warp, which I think is absolutely broken. It's just like, bro, I've just lost like 300 fighter health because my fighters decided to just warp in from the enemy spawn and take damage. Like, I'm pretty sure in real, in real, in real like, Star Wars lore, or any sci-fi lore, if a ship, if a fighter was coming in that quick, and for example, just to show you how quick that is again, alright, if something was coming in that quickly, uh-huh, I highly doubt any point defense is really going to be capable. You do have a point defense mode, which uses the medium turbo laser and the small hybrid laser as a means of um, point defense but really they aren't that good but it your point defense it goes from shit to uh, eh, um, which isn't very good um, I don't think I'm my team is gonna be win what the hell is that okay that's a tester Please be an overpowered ship that completely ruins the game for the enemy. That'd be really cool. What am I intercepting? Tri fighters. That's not a Luca Hulk. Luca Hulks don't have tri fighters. Or at least the carrier version doesn't. Why are my fighters going off to defend that crimson? Actually, just stop. What do they have? Oh, they're actually. They're not really using any like, heavy carrier orientated ships. This guy is on a suicide mission, though. Actual suicide mission. Yeah, I, I just I just don't know. This guy's plan was to spawn in front, come out around the corner in like a tier 2, tier 1 ship in front of a Viscount, which he wouldn't be able to kill even if the Viscount had no shields. Because my fighter's would be able to do it. Rebel fighters aren't that powerful, honestly. Like, you can find like you can find some of these in New Republic stuff, and they're honestly not that good. That's cake. Please don't be that event only cake, which can literally just be the most broken thing in the world and can just sit from a corner of the map. I don't think it I hope it's not. 
looks just like it looks, just looks like chocolate fudge icing. The thing. My things are intercepting. Oh no, they're intercepting those. He can outrange me. I'm pretty sure, but he does like no damage to me. It's just like the Monty Python tis but a scratch. Like honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know what this Dasura is doing. I <sighs> do. I really want to get involved in that. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, I can like turn in here, support him a bit, turn around, do a U-turn. This guy's coming back for some reason. I know, suicide pact, I guess. Oh, what's that? What's that? I haven't given. Oh, that's a fucking dominate it all the way around that corner. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna charge because honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm just... Oh, no, no. The server is lagging really badly. So I don't really know what's happening. The Thanatos, I think, swapped targets to go after me, because I'm losing a lot of health. It could be carriers, it could be these frostings. They are really annoying. i turn on my point defense, hopefully that does something. Make a U-turn. Try and escape this guy, and I love I love how they they introduced like the textures would change on engines if they were damaged, but it's just it just changes to a texture which is completely different to the ship's texture, and just looks like really weird. They just look like Lego parts, honestly. I'm not even kidding. Okay, well he died before I could even fire those concussion missiles. So I'm doing my job as as basically just carrier support over what the hell this thing is. It doesn't even look like a carrier. What the hell? This thing it looks cool as hell, but I have no idea where it's from. I don't even know. I, I, what are those guns? Okay, they do not sound like Halo to me. Okay, good. We have a thermo plane. That's good. We have an epoch. Finally, we have some carrier orientated ships. We do have a golem who's like slowly creeping its way over. Literally takes like half the match to get over here. And there's a high chance it could just die instantly, which is would be extremely, extremely funny. But yeah, this video is going to go for too long. Um, like, this count is Canada's ships, which is just, like, it's not that good, honestly. It's just not that good. It's not as good as it used to be. A year ago, it used to be alright, because not all the ships could counter it that well. But since any of the new updates, this thing's just fallen from grace. I hope they balance it in some way or form. Because you saw there, I wasn't really doing many f much damage to the actual other brawlers. I'm not, like, that means I can't really brawl that well. Like, I can guess where they're coming from. It's where you combine the fighters, the bombers, and your guns. I kind of play it like an executor, like a sort of like a battle carrier. But when your guns aren't that good, and when your uh, fighter wings aren't actually that good, you're quite ineffective, really. And you're not really worth it. Uh, and the grind is really painful, and to be all honest, for a grind how painful it is, it's not actually that good of a ship. So I'm going to leave this video here, if you liked the video please comment down below uh, what you want to see next and subscribe and like the video. Um, honest to god this is going to be the last video for a, for a very long time. Uh, I just did this because I'm wide awake but I'm starting to feel tired now so I'll probably be heading to sleep. But anyway, I'll see you around later.